What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamas Tech. So today we're gonna to do a speed RAM battery temperature and a benchmark test. It has been a while since I actually did one. And over here in the first corner, we have the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the latest and greatest from Samsung. This is rocking the Exynos 2100, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And over here on the other corner, we have the Galaxy S20 FE. This is one of my best phones here in 2020. It's rocking the Snapdragon 865, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage as well. So first of all, we're going to test out the temperatures. 75.9, 36.0. So both of them are actually pretty similar. And over here, you can see in the room, it's actually pretty hot. It's at 31.1. So what we're going to do today is just boot these two phones up. And then both of these phones are set at 120 hertz display and also at 100% of battery. So you're going to see which one does start up faster. It looks like this one is having a slight lead. It seems like the S21 Ultra was actually a bit faster. Now we can see both of them are starting up. Let's go to the calendar. See, it hasn't loaded yet. The S21 has loaded up while the S20 FE is just right behind it. So as you can see here, both of them at 100%, only the Wi-Fi are enabled. And then we can see that all apps have been closed on both of these phones. So now let's check out the temperatures again. 32.9, 33.5. Slightly hotter on the S21 Ultra. So now let's go to the first app, S49. Looks like the S21 Ultra does have a slightly better lead. And today's test is going to be pretty interesting seeing that the Exynos has always been heating up a little bit more and a bit longer compared to the Snapdragon phones. So you're going to see today the Exynos 2100 has been improved. And you can see that it's actually faster when of course something with the logging issues. Over here, it's just slightly behind. So yes, so far the first point goes to the S21 Ultra. Next up over here, we have Pokemon Go. All right, looks like the S21 Ultra again is having a slight lead. And we can see, yes, the S21 Ultra and that fluid 120 hertz display does look really sick. Next up here is YouTube. Almost the same on both of these phones. Instagram. All right, both are doing very well. Next up, we have a very big app over here with PUBG. Okay, looks like the S21 again is having a slight lead. Pretty interesting, very impressive so far with the Exynos 2100. As you can see there, it has already started up with the S20 FE just right behind it. Let's just close up all this. Let's go to the next one here, Chrome. Again, both are doing very similar. Facebook. Both are very similar again. Let's go to Shopee. Both are very similar. So now let's check out the temperatures. 37.2. 37.1. So you can see here the Exynos is doing much better when it comes to temperature. Let's go to YouTube Music. Again, both are very fast. Settings. Again, both are very fast. Man United. Slightly ahead on the S21 Ultra. Premier League. Slightly ahead on the S21 Ultra. Netflix. Again, on the S21 Ultra, let's go to the camera app. I think the S... 
I think the S20 FE is actually a little bit faster. TikTok. S21 Ultra. Adobe. A bit on the S20 FE. Let's go to Twitter. A bit on the same, I would say. No clear winner. Go to Play Store. Again, both are doing very well. And as we can see here, let's check out the temperatures. 37.1, 37.3. So yes, both of these phones are very similar in performance and temperature. Let's go test out the RAM. As you can see here, it has been refreshed. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, both did very well. Go to PUBG. All right, both are doing very well. YouTube Music has been slightly refreshed on the S20 FE. Twitter. Okay, both also are doing very well. Let's go to the TikTok. All right, so yes, both are also doing very well. And so you can see here the S21 Ultra with the 12 gigs of RAM does have a slight edge, a little bit better management compared to the S20 FE. So now let's check out the final temperature over here. 37.4, 38.1. So this one has been slightly raised due to that higher RAM. So now we're going to test out the Geekbench. So I had to close up all the apps behind. And let's open up the Geekbench. So as you can see here, this one's running the Exynos 2100. Here, Snapdragon 865. Just check out the temperature again. 36.3, 37. So yes, slightly hotter, but not very significant. So let's just run the benchmark. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now we are at the halfway mark, as you can see here, 51%, while the S20 FE is stuck at 44%. Another thing to keep in mind is the battery, here is at 97%, over here as well at 97%. Keep in mind that this is having a 5000 mAh battery, while this one is having 4500. So we are almost towards the end, as you can see here again, the S21 Ultra very impressive at 90%, while the S20 FE is at 83%. Let's check out the temperatures. 28.0, 28.9, hotter on the S21 Ultra. Over here, the S21 Ultra is already done. This is the score you're going to get, 629 and 2715. And the S20 FE is still running right behind it. Let's give it a little more time. So there we have it. This is the final score of the S20 FE. So you can see here, there's a difference, not a very significant difference. Let's check out the temperatures. 37.1. 36.8, so better heat management. I'm very impressed with the S21 Ultra. Definitely a huge upgrade from the Exynos 990. Battery over here, 96% compared to the 97%. So yes, do let me know what you guys think about the results. So if you did enjoy this video, do click that like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamas Tech. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamas Tech. Stay safe, take care, and... Wash those hands.